Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody tonight? Welcome to my page. I'm just going to get set up here. Everything's taking a very long time, and I've been having trouble with my internet today, so I apologize ahead of time if I get knocked off, which it looks like, looks like it's going to work. Um, when you come on, say hello, and let me know where you're from. Hi, Amy. Okay, so tonight I'm going to paint my couch, my love seat. I've already got some over here. I'm going to show you. Hey, Kristen. Um, how are y'all doing tonight? Okay, let me pull you up on my phone because after two comments, I won't be able to see anything on there anymore. Let's see if we're up yet. There we are. And make sure there's no sound. Hey, Sherry. Okay. So if you're new to my page, welcome. Let us know that you're here. Let us know where you're from. Um, my name is Michaela from Paint Fixation, and I'm from Middleburg, Florida. Um, I sell Dixie Bell paint products at two locations, one at Antiques for You on Blanding and one at Jump in the Trunk in Fleming Island. So if you're local, that's where you would go to get your paint. If you're not local and you don't have a local retailer, you can go to my website. I've pinned it, paintfixation.com, and get all the products that I'm using today. Okay. Hi, Cindy from Melbourne, Australia. Ooh. Okay, so the products that I'm going to be using tonight are, well, I've already done my cleaning. So I cleaned this really well. Well, first I vacuumed it because we have had animals ever since we've had this. This used to be my mother-in-law's couch. So it has, it's like 30 years old. It's, it's old, but it, it's really done well considering what we've put it through. So first we had to vacuum all of the little bits of hair and Legos and just there was all kinds of stuff in there let's just say that so um hey kate <laughs> hey cindy everybody's here thank you sherry hi jane everybody's here um and then i cleaned it really really well with white lightning and if you're not familiar with white lightning white lightning is our um cleaner and this stuff is the bomb you you would not believe what this stuff can clean um, you don't want to clean anything that you're not going to paint unless it's like your tile grout that kind of thing because it will de-gloss it it will take the finish off and that's why it's so wonderful because it helps to make your paint stick so the first thing i did was clean this and then rinse you want to make sure that you rinse it off well because if you don't rinse it off you might have adhesion issues with it okay so that's the first thing thank you so much cindy fowler okay now then I'm going to be using Stormy Seas. Okay, Stormy Seas is the color that I've chosen. This is navy, and we're going to this color. Let me turn it this way so y'all can see it. Okay, so that's a side by side. This has got two coats mostly. The, the um, arm does not have two coats. I had to run up to the store to get paint because I ran out. So this has been, this is all two coats, two coats. That is one coat. As you can see, the coverage is amazing. And actually, some of this didn't even need two coats. This down here is not going to need two coats. This is um, full coverage. And I'm bringing all in a little closer so that you can see. Um, this side looked very much like this side over here. You can see all of the wear and tear on here. You see that? It's kind of yucky. But then look over here. Okay? You see that this is still a little bit damp. I just painted this second coat. But you can see that it's not cracking, even with it being wet. It's not coming off. I did a scratch test here on the first coat, and it is not coming off. It's on there really good. Um, you want to do a light sand in between your coats <clears throat> just to soften it up a little bit. Although, I... It does, to me, on this particular leather, it doesn't really feel like it needs to be sanded, but I always like to um, sand in between all my coats whenever I paint anything so that um, it just, every, so that every layer after that is just nice and smooth. Okay, so I'm going to show you all how I did this. This was so incredibly easy, guys. If you have a leather or even fake leather, like pleather or whatever they call it, um, 
this was so easy. I'm also using my, I can't believe I just let go of this bowl jar. Um, this is my oval medium from Dixie Belle, my very favorite, favorite brush. Hi, Yvonne. So this is what I've been using, okay? And I'm just gonna show you how easy this goes on. Let me bring y'all in a little closer. I'm trying to see on the computer what y'all are seeing. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna start slapping it on here, literally. I mean, it's just, it goes on so smooth. I just want, I just want to make sure y'all are seeing what you need to see and not what you don't need to see. <laughs> like my rear. And this is Stormy Seas. This is Stormy Seas from Dixie Bell. And as you can see, it is hovering so well. In fact, the only reason I really did two coats over there is because some of the leather is drier than others. Um, this sits in front of this window here. And some of the cracks, um, I didn't get the paint in the cracks, but if you work it in, like I'm doing here, this is full coverage. Now, as it dries, I might have to go back and touch it up. But, um, hey, Jason, hey, welcome. So, this is just basically how easy it was. I did go up underneath here. Um, I can't do it right here because I don't want to let go of this container because then I'll have it everywhere. Um, I basically just painted what I could see. Um, like when, you know, when you sit down so that it doesn't pull and you don't see the original color. But guys, this is just a game changer for me. Um, I wish that I had known this was possible years ago, but look at that. Can y'all see how good that coverage is? Hey, Debbie. <laughs> Amy and Yvonne are, um, sharing the video to each other. It looks like, thank y'all for sharing that. I want to tell y'all, um, what a difference when y'all share, um, if y'all could see the stats on my videos that have been shared by you guys and not by me, um, it is amazing the difference in my stats, my, what gets, how, how many people see the video, how many people follow me afterwards. Um, so I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate when you guys share the videos because it, it really does make a difference. Um, I try to keep track of what videos perform better than others. And um, by far, the ones that get shared during the video perform the best. I'm gonna move it over just a little bit. Marianne, welcome. Are you new to my page? I don't think I recognize your last name, so I'm not sure. Let me know if you're new, and if you are, where are you watching from? Okay. Let me bring my phone up here so that I don't have to keep turning around and looking. I can see the comments. Because I don't need to keep turning around. And of course, the oval medium is just perfect for this because it holds a nice amount of paint. There are absolutely no brush strokes at all on this. Not that I would expect it on leather, but, um, you know, you never know. But I'm just getting all in the cracks. And then after I'm all done with this, isn't it pretty, Cindy? Columbus, Ohio, very good. Welcome, Marianne. Glad to have you on here. We are painting leather tonight. This is Stormy Seas, um, Cindy. But I just wanted to show y'all how quick this was. Um, this was kind of a last minute idea. I know not too many people paint their furniture as a last minute idea. <laughs> but 
that I am going to be live on the Dixie Bell page tomorrow night at 8. And I was thinking of doing this on that page, um, but we're doing uh, Around the House with Dixie Bell, and apparently they've moved from the living room to the dining room this week. <laughs> so I figured this probably would not work for that. So um, I'm going to be doing some towels and a serving tray. And I'm also thinking about, not that I've already painted too much fabric that I don't need to paint any more fabric, but I'm thinking about painting um, some Hang on. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Amy. Um, <laughs> so I'm thinking of doing a drop cloth and dyeing it or painting it for dining room chairs. It would be a very inexpensive project and you could paint them pretty much any color that you want to. So that's kind of the idea I have for tomorrow night. So if you guys are available tomorrow evening um, at 8, please come and watch me on the Dixie Bell Paint Company page and keep me company because it has been a while since I've been live on that page. So I'm going to need some friends. Um, Yvonne, you have no idea how much upper body workout I've been getting. <laughs> I have had to rest my hands. Um, I finished, of course, y'all saw the RV. I finished that, the, all those cushions. And I um, finished, I finished the, the other custom that I had, the china cabinet. That was a lot of waxing. And I don't know why I decided to do this today, because it does use the same hand motions. But um, Jennifer, welcome. Yes, Amy. I was thinking because I was painting some canvas um, bags today, and you know I'm always on top of my drop cloths. They're always on the ground next to me, and as y'all can see, the paint does not come out of them. Look at that. The paint just stays. Doesn't matter how much I wash them, and I wash them frequently because of my animals. I don't like to have any hair on them. And so my cats like to use them to sleep on. And so they get washed a lot and the paint never budgets. And so I decided that that might be a good idea it's for someone who, this fabric is so expensive. It used to be economical to make your own things with fabric, but um, the fabric prices, I mean, I used to sew all the time when my kids were little. But it's it's cheaper now to um, it's cheaper to buy buy stuff because fabric is so expensive. So when you want to cover your seats, it's um, it's pricey. You know, you're talking a couple hundred dollars if you get a fabric that is upholstery level, and drop cloths are very durable. Perfect for that. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Kristen, I'm ambitious. I don't know. Ambition or crazy. So Kristen stamped some drop cloths. Mmm. I don't have any stamps to attain paint for. I don't know. That would take a lot of pain on fabric, I think. And Debbie says she'll be there for me tomorrow night. Yay! Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm getting into this area that's really nasty. It's all cracked. And of course this is very wrinkly because it's been sat on this this couch has had a lot of wear. And like I said earlier, it was my mother-in-law's um, originally, and she doesn't skimp on anything. So it's still in excellent condition, even though it is 30 years old. The only thing wrong with it is that it's got some some nicks from the cat paws, but this one this one here is mostly from 
the dogs getting up and down on it. They don't come in here as much anymore because um, we don't come as much in here anymore because we don't, we used to come in here a lot when we homeschooled and um, this room was our office. And so we were in here a lot. I've slept on this couch plenty of times in the afternoons when my kids were playing in here. We had all of our Legos in here. And, but I'm going to show y'all. This is just going to cover this right up. And that second coat went on like butter. I mean, it was just wonderful. So I know that Amy, Amy, if you're still on here, I know that you um, just recently painted some bar stools. Did, what did you use to seal them? I was going to use Easy Peasy Wax to seal these. Not necessarily to seal them, but just to give them a nice finish on them because the paint does not need to be sealed. Um, But I was wondering, has anyone used any of the other products to seal their leather, like um, Big Mama's Butter or Hemp Oil or the Clear Wax? So Amy, she's still here. So do you, I'm, I know you like the Easy Peasy Wax. Have you tried any of the other products on furniture, leather or pleather or fabric? So she seals with Easy Peasy. Yeah, it, it truly is the easiest one to use, and it gives such a nice, soft finish. Um, the lady that I did the RV for was very happy with her RV. Um, I think it'll be a while before I do another one of those, though. I've had surgery in both my hands, and so this is um, kind of taking a toll on I don't usually take Tylenol or pain this, but I've been, I've been taking some. Okay, so I'm going to put this down here and show y'all up close. Let me see. I know that there's a, the light. Hang on. Let me see if I can do this light back. Can y'all see the coverage? I've got my glasses on. So that's one coat and that's two coats. Can you see the difference? And for those of you who were, are just on here, this is soft, just like the original leather. It is not cracking. The only places that you might have a little bit of what might look like a crack is any scratches that were originally on there. <laughs> Glutton for punishment. So Amy uses her bar stools every day and they've held up beautifully. That's amazing. Thank you, Wendy. Um, Chris, welcome to my page. I am using Dixie Bell Stormy Seas right here. This is a chalk mineral paint. I'm not using any water to apply this. Um, my first coat over there, my brush was um, perfectly dry. I did not use any water. My second coat, the brush was damp from being washed, um, but I did not use any, I did not spray any water or anything like that. Hi, Linda. Yeah, the coverage on this is amazing. And I chose this color because, I'll show y'all, I did this piece over here, that piece there. That's a piece I painted, that was, that's an antique wash stand that I painted, it was my mom's. And I painted that last year. And I thought this would be a nice compliment having this on the side of the room. And I also was thinking about doing some blending on here just for fun. Um, <laughs> but now I'm thinking, I don't know that I want to do that. But I was thinking, wouldn't it be kind of cool around the edges, like around here, maybe doing something darker, like um, Gravel Road or Midnight Sky or something just to kind of highlight the edges of the piece. I don't know. And then, I don't know. I was thinking, I, I shouldn't be thinking that kind of stuff. Just keep it simple, Michaela. Just keep it simple. But, you know, if my hands start to feel a little bit better, I might come in here and play a little bit. That piece over there I have is, um, it is Stormy Seas with Sawmill Gravy blended. 
so then I was also thinking, wouldn't that be kind of cool to have a blended couch? I know that Amy did, her bar stools were blended. She used a few different colors and it looked like, um, kind of to me, it looked like actual, like real expensive leather, like um, baseball glove leather with the different colors. So I was thinking that might be kind of cool to do a couple colors and blend this. But not today. <laughs> today, maybe I'll, that's for the, another live because I really want this coat to dry really well before I add any, um, you know, any other, you know, because if I'm going to blend, I'm going to have to use some water and I don't want to do that on the first coat the same day. But this is going on so nicely. But I am going to show y'all over there, I'll, on a piece of that over there, I'm going to show y'all how easy it is to apply the Easy Peasy Wax. Let me just get this bottom part right here. I mean, I knew it was going to stick because this had paint on it from when I used to come in here and paint before I was using my workroom. And so I knew the paint would stick because I couldn't get the paint off of it. Let me check the comments. Black wax. Ooh. Terry, welcome. Are you new? I don't think I recognize your name. Welcome to my page. My name is Michaela. We have a lot of fun on here, I think. I don't know. I enjoy it. But this is one coat, guys. I mean, and the only place I think I'm going to need a second coat are just in the, the drier areas where the cracks are a little bit deeper. Like I said, this bottom part down here, on this side over here, let me um, lower this down a little bit. Back y'all up. So that area over there is just got one coat. It didn't need a second coat. And I think it's because it's flat. I've got a drop cloth down here, but it's getting on my floor. Um, you know, this is flat. It doesn't move. It doesn't get exposed to the sun. So it doesn't, that does not need a second coat at all. Let me check the comments. Amber, thank you very much. <laughs> My husband's watching and he said, um, can you remove that color if your husband doesn't like it? Nope, cannot be removed. We do have fun, Debbie, don't we? Thank you, Amber. Welcome to my page. Okay. This is Stormy Seas by Dixie Bell for anybody that's just jumping on. Yeah, this is, this is just easy to get inside all the little divots because it doesn't move around like this does here. And I, I pulled this up over there. I pulled all this up and got up underneath there. You know, because when you sit down, it'll pull it and show what's underneath. My husband knows better than asking me questions like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris. And this is going to be very durable. Like Amy was saying earlier, she did her bar stools and they sit on them all the time. And it wears and wears and wears. All right. Okay, so I'm going to leave that. And then I'm going to spray some easy peasy wax over here and show you all how easy that is. And I forgot to around. Ken. Penny, are you out there? I don't know where he went. All right. It doesn't matter. We'll just do it. I don't have a rag. I wish you'd drop off the drop off. Okay. So, this is easy peasy wax. 
It's a liquid. It's awesome. You want to shake it until you no longer can hear it. You want it to be all mixed in. It's harder to get it to be quiet when there's so little in it. Okay, do y'all hear the difference? Okay, so basically to make this just a little softer, nothing, it's okay. So I'm gonna just give it a light sanding right here because I'm just gonna do this one little area right here. But I really would like to, I normally would wait overnight to do this, but I'm gonna just do it to show y'all. Um, Cindy, you most certainly can. <laughs> Kristen. <laughs> um, Cindy, I, if you check my page, um, I painted an entire RV, all of the cushions in the RV. Um, oh, that's so nice and soft. I wish I, could, I wish I could feel it. Okay, so we're just going to spray it with the Easy Peasy Wax. And then I'm just going to use this um, drop cloth to kind of, kind of let it sit for just a minute, about 30 seconds. And then I'm just going to give it a little, uh, oops. Normally I would use a dry cloth, but we're improv improvising tonight. Okay. I wish I could feel that. Do you see how it's not cracking? Can y'all see that? Let me get you closer. Doesn't want to. You see that? Wow. Yes, Cindy, you can. It is um, Stormy Seas, Cindy Frazier. Here's the jar right here. It is a blue gray. You can play it pleather. Um, but if you if you want to try this on fabric. Um, you most certainly can. I painted, like I said earlier, the entire inside of an RV. I did all of the, I did the couch, the cushions that they have on the table area. I did the, the fabric that was on the walls. You know how in RVs, or maybe you don't know, but they like trim it in fabric. I did all of that. And um, I used the Easy Peasy Wax. And I also used the Clear Wax because I wanted to see the difference. And they both, performed very equally, but the Easy Peasy Wax was just much easier because I didn't have to buff it in. Um, you basically sprayed it on there, and I didn't even really have to wipe it very much, very, very little. How long will it stay perfect? <laughs> if Amy is still watching, um, AJ from AJ's Vintage Design is on, and she painted some bar stools that were pleather, and she said that yeah, they use them all the time and they're like the day that she painted them. The nice thing about it is too, is it's paint. So if something happened and someone scratched it or if you dropped something on it or pen, you could grab your paint and touch it up. Um, it'd be that easy to fix it. It's hot in here. Let me see, I can't read these. So I'm looking at y'all here, but I'm reading up. I'm reading y'all here. So let's see. I think I got everybody's questions. But you know, um, if you follow me or if you don't, just I will give y'all updates on this. Um, the fact that I can squeeze this um, right the same day, you know, because it does take 21 to 30 days for the paint to cure, okay? But the fact that I can do this, yes, dear? Oh, so Kristen, <laughs> thank you, Kristen, I got my rag. <laughs> I don't really need a really long time now. Um, so I lost my train of thought because my husband brought me a rag. Did he ask? Oh, he didn't. Yeah, that's true, Yvonne. He probably did think that I've spilled something because we all know that happens. I spilled a 32-ounce thing of Savannah Mist last week. I lost my train of thought. Touch up your, touch it up if you get, oh, I will do updates. So 
I will, um, I'll make my nephews who homeschool here, I'll have them come in here and sit and do their homeschooling and we'll see how well it performs. Is it better to use the silk range of the normal range is fine. Cindy, I don't have the silk line right now. It will not be available in the U.S. until the beginning of next year, so I can't answer that question. I have seen videos of them using the silk line. I think the difference would be that it is a little bit less matte. I think it has more of a, um, from what I can tell, now, if AJ is still on here, she might be able to answer this question because I know that she has tested it. She's a brand ambassador for our company, for Dixie Bell. Um, so, if with a silk line, it doesn't need a top coat. It, from what I understand, it has more of a satiny sheen to it. Um, although this one doesn't have a top coat, it doesn't have to have a top coat. You know, it cures and it doesn't need one. But if you want that softer leather feel, it's better to give it, like I can tell the difference from where I just placed the, um, the wax just now and back here where there is no wax it's a little bit drier feeling this fe this actually feels just like leather it feels like new leather where my hand is right now this back here is a little bit drier feeling of course i have not sanded this back here because when you take like i'm using a dixie bell sanding sponge okay this is a 220 grit when you first get them but i use them until they pretty much fall apart i wash them if they have so like say this had white, white paint on it, I could wash this and reuse it. Um, I would say right now, this is closer to a 400 grit from being used so much, but it's perfect for just knocking off, just, you know, just knocking off just the very top part of the paint. And then after you rub it with this grit, it gives it just a better feel. And then you, you hit it with that, easy peasy wax and it's just it's 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 a miracle <laughs> okay so amy says the silk paint is not chalk paint it's a mineral paint she hasn't tested it on leather feather or fabric it does resist mildew and it has a little bit more of a sheen so those are the differences in the two lines um thank you very much ellie um hi marcia hi marcia AJ is AJ's Vintage Designs. You should follow her. She's amazing. She does everything. <laughs> she, she is a wealth of information. Um, in fact, I get most of my information from her because she's just, she knows the products better than anybody that I know. So um, she is definitely someone to follow. And she gets the products ahead of time so that because she's an ambassador, they get the products ahead of time so that they can give us, the retailers, the information that we need to be successful in our businesses. So they're testing the line now. The line has already started in Australia in the smaller market. Um, we have too many retailers in the United States for them to test it here. So they're testing it there. They've had a very good um, response for the line, and so they're hoping to have it here at the beginning of the year. <laughs> so Ellie, Ellie says, yes, she is. She is. See, all these people know you already, AJ. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, you know, you have a reputation. What can you say? You're just good. That's all there is to it. But um, so if you're not already following me, please do so. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, um, please share it. Like I was saying earlier in the video, it's quite amazing. I know that um, people who do lives often will say sprinkle it, share it. Um, we're not really supposed to say share because Facebook doesn't like that word. So a lot of people say sprinkle, sprinkle the video. Um, it is amazing the difference and what happens to the videos that get shared, not only after the video, but during the video. Um, it's, it's interesting to me how the algorithm works. Um, but when you should, when you guys share it, I mean, when I share it, it does help. But when you guys share it, Facebook just looks at it like, oh, this people want to see this video and then they let more people see it. So I've had local people 
have my videos pop up in their Facebook feed that don't that weren't previously following me or anything and it's just kind of cool you know I'm like well how did you find me and they're like well your video just popped up in my feed and I'm like well that's weird <laughs> okay <laughs> but um so I just find that very interesting I'm kind of a I'm a geek when it comes to um spread the peanut butter there you guys spread I have said that before spread it like peanut butter um I just I sprinkle it it doesn't come natural to me to say sprinkle it <laughs> I don't know why um I have a sign in my room in there that says share it that I usually will hold up so I don't have to say the words um say, oh Amy thank you <laughs> you didn't have to do that <laughs> but um but anyway, so does anybody have any questions before I jump off of here? Remember, I will be on Dixie Bell Paint Company's page tomorrow evening um, at 8 p.m. I haven't been live there in a couple of months, but I decided to do one this month. And we're doing Around the House with Dixie Bell, which this is a perfect example. You know, if you want to update, this literally cost me, um, I've used less than eight ounces of paint so far, and I'm almost done with this piece. So eight ounces of paint is eleven ninety-five. A new couch would cost you three, three to five hundred dollars, depending on. There you go. Pass this, pass this along. <laughs> pass it, pass it along. Um, so I guess I should hashtag this. There's a hashtag um, if you guys are looking to to find inspiration for around your home using Dixie Bell paint or Dixie Bell products. Um, there's a hashtag right now. It's AJ, correct me if I'm wrong, around the house DB, I think, is it? Oh, Kristen, thank you. Yes, you should, you, I was just jabbering. You didn't miss anything. Um, but um, there's that hashtag. So if you look at the hashtag, then you'll get a lot of inspiration for ways of updating your home using Dixie Bell products. And I'll be doing a live tomorrow evening. I'm going, we're, I think today it switches over to the dining area. Um, right now it's living room, which this would have been perfect for tomorrow, but I think it's switching over to dining area tomorrow. So I'm gonna be doing ways of updating your dining room without spending too much money. Um, so you should come watch. <laughs> You guys should, so it's DBP around the house. I thought it was the other way around. I thought it was around the house DBP, but I guess it doesn't matter. So if you click one or the other, you'll end up there. Um, I have not hashtagged any of mine yet. I probably need to do that so that they will show up on the, um, show up on the feed when you, when you do it. But it's a kind of a cool thing. Um, all of the ambassadors are doing it. Um, all of the retailers that are going live from Dixie Bell are doing it. And a lot of retailers that don't go live on Dixie Bell, like, like I said, this is my first one in a couple of months. So a lot of them are also doing it. So there's a lot of inspiration there. I've seen people doing placemats and well, furniture, uh, just taking everyday items in your home and updating it. I do books. Um, you can see in my feed where I've done books before using paint and would you bend 8 p.m. Chris around the house with DBP. Usually Dixie Bell is starting their tags with DBP, but they may have done something different with this one. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll check it and see, um, and then I'll link it on here. Actually, I need I need to add the hashtag, so I'll hashtag it. Um, but there's, I've, I've actually seen a lot of cool things, but, um, just like I said, simple things like books and like I, over here, I have the, the mason jars and I just had that tray and I just threw some paint on it and threw some twine around the jars, threw some greenery in there and, um, you know, have a little arrangement on there. I'm not, I'm not real, um, fancy when it comes to florals and that kind of thing, but you know, at least that now it's not plain. <laughs> it's not just blank over there. <laughs> but um, anyway, so if you guys are just jumping on and you have questions about what we did tonight, we painted this leather couch. Um, there's a few new viewers that weren't here earlier. 
Um, so we painted this leather couch. So if you want to see how to paint leather in your home and update your old dry scratch leather, go watch the replay. Um, it is a fantastic thing to do. Thank you, Amy. I'll show it to you again. So that is my, that was my mom's. It's an old antique washstand. And I just, that's also Stormy Seas, and it's um, Stormy Seas with sawmill gravy. And I have that thing hanging on it, so you can't really see. And like that clock up there, that clock was like ugly brown. Not anymore. I took it off the wall, and my husband said, you're not going to paint that, because his mom gave it to us. I said, I am going to paint that. And I did. <laughs> I took that sucker off the wall and I painted it. Thank you, Kristen. Hi, Julie. See? See what you can do? You can take the paint and slap some paint on it and it's the inside of it is original. I did not paint the inside of it. Um, like I said, it was my mom's and I wanted to keep it. So there's nothing in the drawers. There's nothing in it. It's just a reminder but it was ugly on the outside, so we painted it. See, you guys, all of you guys, they should know better, that's true. So Julie says um, she wants to paint her leather. Yes, watch the replay. Um, if I had known I could do this when we had a desk in here and we had a leather, gross leather uh, office chair in here, I literally took the thing apart. I cut all of the vinyl off of it myself, laid it out on fabric, and I re-upholstered the sucker. I would not have done that if I had known that I could do this. <laughs> Trust me, that was, so for guys who sew, re-upholstering is no joke, and I did not enjoy it at all, not even a little bit, but um, it was so ugly, and so I needed to update it, but. Kenny is pacing. I think he needs food. Oh, is, he, is he behind me? Can y'all see him behind me? <laughs> yes, Julie, I think that's a good idea. I, I don't know. I just, it was something, sometimes I paint the inside of furniture, especially if, I, if I'm going to be putting things in there and it's kind of yucky and stuff, but um, I just did the Big Mama's Butter, made it, put it in there and just freshened it up and um, painted the outside of it. You know, I guess he's at me. He must be out there pacing back and forth. <laughs> That's all right. He's, he probably hears me talking about it. Anyway, all right. So if you're just jumping on, have questions, please put them in the comments. I will always go back and answer them. Um, it's best if you tag me. Um, I don't always see them because Facebook has been wonky lately. But I do try it at least for a week after a video. I'll go back and check to make sure there's no new comments. Um, Y'all have a lovely evening, and it's been really fun with the new people watching. Um, and I hope that you guys come back. I do Wednesdays at 7. I try to commit to that. If I, for some reason, I can't, because um, with me, family always comes first. So if something happens and I can't be here at 7 o'clock, I try to put a put a post in that I, I will reschedule for the next night or something like that. But um, I'm really trying to commit. I've been pretty good. So the people who are regulars, they know I've, I've done pretty good. I mean, I actually had people last week, I missed Wednesday, and I actually had someone text me and say, where are you? And I was like, oh, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> they missed me. But um, you guys have a blessed evening, and um, I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.